Five, four, three, two. How we talk hey. weekly is definitely in the building. Yes. Yo, man, shout out to Lil Weezy in the building, man. Yo, that joint had me wanting to do the Harlem yeah. Shake. Oh, that's again. what I said. This whole album is that hot. That joint is crazy. I'm yeah. feeling some type of way. I don't have my music with me. You know, I need my I music. Know. I need to do our things. It's all good. It's your boy Charles Gregory, the beautiful. Lauren Sizzle. And the beautiful. Classy Lady Sparkle. And we have some more beautiful people in here. You know, yeah. absolutely amazing. Black Girl Magic in the building. We're going to jump right into it. So, Sizzle, who do we have today? We have twin sisters, Eli and Lou Bevins. Um, they were raised by their grandparents in West Philadelphia. The sisters began writing stories and poetry in elementary school and first discovered the art of screenwriting in the 11th grade at Overbrook High School. Well, y'all with the bro? Oh, okay. Panthers in the building. I, I the- knew he was going to say something. I, I had to. Part. I didn't know that. I'm surprised. Now y'all starting to look a little familiar here. Man. No foul. Shout out to West Philly and Building Castle yes. on the top of the hill. Yes, All day. Yes. So while attending ECSU for their BS degrees in computer science, the sisters wrote, directed, and produced two stage plays. Eli and Lou then started a web show, which eventually led the sisters back to their filmmaking aspirations. As graduate students at Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana, the sisters continued their STEM studies while entering the CMF National Film Film Competition, in which one of their films was later screened at the prestigious Cannes Film Festival in France. Shine. Yes. Let me find yes. Out. Yes. So, <laughs> yes. Since Eli and Lou um, have written and directed numerous films, multiple film received multiple film awards and performed spoken word as a duo. Through film and spoken word, Eli and Lou continue to convey thought-provoking messages that will impact lives, enlighten, and challenge minds. Welcome to the show, Eli and Lou Entertainment. Hercules, Hercules. (laughs) How y'all ladies doing today? Pretty good, pretty good. No doubt. It's good to have y'all here. Thanks for having us. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. You know, I I love it when Black Girl Magic come because we like to, you know, especially as a as a gentleman, I like to support my queens, man. You know what I'm saying? And to show that, you know, this is this this thing takes a tribe, takes a communi- community to support, you know? Mm-hmm. And so, real quick, man, where did y'all, y'all talk about STEM and all this old good old <laughs> stuff? Like, before we get into, like, the things that y'all do in terms of industry production and movie making, I want to talk a b- little bit about the STEM stuff that y'all doing. Where, where did that come from, you know? Um, I think just growing up with our, our grandparents, I was more um, curious about like technology because right. my grandmother is complete opposite <laughs> of using technology. So going to um, undergrad, we were like, let's let's take on something that we don't typically see. Um, it is challenging being in a field where it's, where it's male dominant or if it's um, mm. not as many African Americans in that field. Right. Um, but I think that's the part that keeps you going, you yeah. know, the challenge. So no doubt, no doubt. that didn't exist when we were kids. <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, it's, that's just one thing we took on as a challenge. No doubt, no doubt. That's great, that's great. So when we start to move toward, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna touch on something before I s- start to go into um, kind of the production piece. You talked about male-dominated, right? Mm-hmm. And how do you feel when it comes to the things that you're doing with in production? Mm-hmm. Do you believe that it's a, a lane for you guys? Because, you know, in looking at the recent... Uh, uh, you know, content that I've been seeing. It seems like, you know, Black Girl Magic is winning. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, th- I think it's changing now, you know. Yeah. I th- also, you know, everything is now accessible. Before, right. I, I think growing up, I never thought about getting into filmmaking. It seemed like it was out of reach. Right. And now we have cameras and laptops and your cell phone can mm-hmm. act as, a, as such. Uh, we've been meeting a lot of uh, women in film, um, radio, yeah, definitely. Um, and, and everywhere everywhere else, you know. <laughs> um but I think it's definitely changing, and I guess we're addicted to being in, in fields that we don't typically see ourselves. Uh-huh. <laughs> I thought about it. I was like computer science and then fil- even filmmaking. A lot of times we're sometimes the only. But I, I think, you know, that's how you, you change things is by being a part of it. Right, right. No doubt. What about yourself? Yeah, um, yeah I, I remember when we first started, people would, would come on set, and they, the, I remember the comments was, oh, they have a female behind the camera. And all the time we would wow. be like, okay. 
But now I think it's it's, it's definitely changing. Um, mm. a lot of uh, women reach out to us, and we've been networking, and it just so happens to be that we we've been here. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. the platforms are now available. So fantastic, fantastic. These days, you kind of expect to see women behind the camera, in front of the <laughs> camera, you know, producing, directing, telling you what to do, everything. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up, man. I, I like to see that. I like to see that, man. So let's talk a little bit about some of the projects that you're working on, and we had uh. Let's let's talk about some of the the more recent projects that you're working on, right. and then we had a, a a dynamic duo that came in. Did you? Did and you? With really? t- yes, we did. Are they, you know? Are they twins? Yes, yeah, look oh, just alike, <laughs> just alike, and they they really shouted you guys. Or they you know they they talked about how much um you know you guys were were pretty much just inspirations, and they couldn't wait to work with you guys, and it was good to hear that. So let's talk a little bit about some of your projects, and then we'll go into that. So um, first, one of the projects um, that we got to work with Troy and Trevor on is um, Lost Light Sound Hearts. Okay. Um, so this is the first time we've ever directed twins. And okay. it wasn't That's until funny. I got on set that I finally realized how people can confuse you. Because <laughs> Troy, Troy, Tre- Troy really Trev, w- one of y'all move first. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> left, move left. <laughs> right. So the first day I had to, had to, to get it to, um, together. Right. The second day I took my time by saying their names. No doubt, no doubt. It would take me a couple of seconds before I um, said their name. But um, that piece was powerful because it is a twin film. Right. Um, and for many twins, we do have a, a bond that's, like, really close. And mm-hmm. so um, just by that being a heartfelt story, with them reaching out to us, we were like, okay, I, I see where you're going here because we can understand each other on that level um, and have these twin conversations. Right. Um, it just made the, the film more more meaningful. Right. The, the name of the film is Lost Light uh, Sound Hearts, and it's currently we're submitting it to film festivals, okay. but we hope to screen it soon in Philadelphia. Fantastic. Just make sure we there. We come out, you know. We'll come <laughs> out, hit the red carpet, make sure we promote a little bit, you know. <laughs> and so, I, you know, let's talk a little bit about the twin shit. Like, what made you guys start to work together? Because, you know, the funny thing about, I won't say necessarily twins, but I say siblings. You either love each other or you hate each other. <laughs> it's either one of the two, right? And so what made you decide, you know what, we're going to start working together because we're a dynamic team. I don't know if we had that. that no, I think it yeah, just kind of happened that way. Okay. Um, naturally, growing up, we always <laughs> gravitated towards the same, like uh, arts or, or creative um thinking right, right and i don't know if that's because just how you know as twins you do everything together but we just had the same talents from like painting um we wow. were in art competitions growing up like everything was kind of together and even with um college we both didn't kind of i think uh we both selected computer science right when we got on campus you know how you don't know what you want to do yeah. Yeah. um just because it was challenging we both kind of just went for it um and so after some time, it was kind of nice having my business part- partner with me and family you know? yeah right. Right, right right what about you um, yeah, I don't think we had that moment. Uh, I do. We do know other twins who are nothing alike, and we, we just so happens. Yeah. I think it's just the luck of the draw <laughs> that we like the same things, yeah. um, and we sort of compliment compliment each other well uh, when it comes I'm to sure. filmmaking. I do a lot of the cinematography work, and she does a lot of the editing. We okay. never had this discussion; it just sort of ended up that uh, way. No doubt, no doubt. Um, but if we both wanted to edit and no one was filming, then we probably wouldn't be sitting here. No <laughs> doubt. I know that's so right. So it, it works out. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is when. Uh, <coughs> Troy and Trevor was here. I asked them, um, "Do you guys uh, finish each other's sentences sometimes?" <laughs> yeah, oh, they just start yeah. laughing. Yeah, <laughs> I think even when we came here, uh, I think we said hello the same, and I'm like, "Don't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Don't do that right now." Um, yeah, it happens a lot. Um, yeah. Even we have to look at each other when we first. I started see. Doing you know, the yeah. funny thing is, <laughs> I'm sitting here <laughs> and you know, the, the, and it's interesting that I, I guess that's the energy. But y'all gotta like look in. You know, what, what, what where does that come from? You when we first started doing interviews, it was right. bad. Okay. We were over talking each other. <laughs> we were kicking each other under the table, trying to get it together. That's funny. It, it was pretty bad. So yeah, now it's terrible. I gotta <laughs> give her eye contact. Like, all right, I'm talking too much. Let me let. Let me let Lou get some. It's a twin look. I see. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, they did it. They did the same thing too. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. And so, so let's, you know, so the projects moving forward, right? Mm-hmm. How do you select the projects that you're going to work on, and what did like? Let's, talk, I guess the twin, this twin project, right? Mm-hmm. What made y'all decide to do that? You know, because they had a story. I want to know, mm-hmm. like your story. What made you decide to say, you know what? I want to work on this. And dang, I got these twins. For me, it seems like uh, it's a no-brainer, of course, because it's nothing like that, but Mm -hmm. just kind of like that whole process. Yeah, I think in being a filmmaker, you you have to be careful on the projects you select, and it also has to speak to you. Um, Troy and Trevor actually reached out to us a while back, and the timing wasn't right. We kept missing each other, and then (laughs) 
uh, the tide came back around. It was probably like a year later. Um, and they reached out again, and it was the Tim project, and we all were, everyone was available to do this um, this project, and it, it worked out well. Um, mm-hmm. And I think the time, speaking on timing, that it was a perfect time for us to do this before. Who knows what would have happened? You know, it probably would have been different. Right. Um, and selecting projects, we typically like doing a stories with um, a message. Mm-hmm. So we're in thriller, drama, comedy, oh, whatever it is. We typically like to do thought provoking pieces. Right. Um, we're poets, so it's sort of, oh, I guess cool. we intertwine our minds when it comes to film. Okay. Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess you took my answer. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Y'all looking. I'm like, um, uh, oh, the, should I jump yeah, in, though? I should want to talk. Go no, ahead. She got it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 no. <laughs> no, Um, but, yeah, definitely uh, some 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 of the things that's missing for me, even in, um, just in entertainment, is that conscious piece, and okay. we kind of want to put that out there. Um. We are huge fans of Lauryn Hill growing up. I Shout feel like I was raised on that yeah. Miseducation um, oh, album. Yeah. So just just coming from there, we kind of try to create it, but we don't want to do your typical boring stories, like she said, thriller. Like who yeah. who gets a message out of thriller? <laughs> so it was like, okay, let's let's take a genre and let's flip it. Let's uh-huh. let's play around with it. Um, right now we're working on a project called uh, Sound Mind. It's our first cinematic spoken word uh, um, mixtape. Oh, that's dope. Um, so even with that piece, um, Derek Dean is producing it, and we're 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 it's our first time finally putting something out there mm. um, as far as spoken word. And it's a little bit of rap too, which may be surprising to some people. But once you put a beat behind spoken word, it's, I know that it's, it's all in the family. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So, so let, let let me let me do just do a shameless like little plug that you know everybody here act, you know. And so next time y'all put something <laughs> together, make sure you reach out, <laughs> especially for me when y'all yeah. do a thriller. Oh, that's yeah. why I that whole, that's I want to oh, do a thriller. Right. I love thriller. That's all I watch. So make sure you reach out to Charles Gregory, <laughs> Lawrence Sizzles, Clay Slate, Spark on the building, right? <laughs> got you, got you. And so, uh, you you guys, you know, um, when the gentleman was here, they talked a lot about uh, how hard it is in the industry, you know, in terms of just you know content creating, you know, and getting the team to support. Mm-hmm. How was it for you in terms of monies? And when we talk about Philadelphia, right? Mm-hmm. Do you feel that the support is there? you know, on your projects, or do you feel like it should be a more? So. <laughs> That's the twin thing. Twin thing. Um, I think, well, we've been gone for, since high school, you know, went off to college and then graduate school. So we've been gone that entire, like, six and mm-hmm. a half years. So um, the projects we're working on now, we're just starting to, to kind of work back in Philadelphia um, and definitely want to do something in our hometown. We're working on spoken word stage play here. Right. So I guess we'll kind of learn that more. Um, as far as support, I think it's there. I kind of want to see it more together, like right. everyone kind of coming together in, in, instead of uh, let me step on you to get ex- here right. and, and here. Mm-hmm. But um, I've always – and I think it could happen. I think it's, it's about time. Uh, Philly has a lot of creative uh, minds in, in mm-hmm. film and music. And so even with our spoken word, um, Sound Mind, we've worked with almost close to, I would say, maybe 80 people at this point right. um, mm-hmm. on all, all of our projects combined because it's 12 short films for um, – sound mind that we're doing hmm. per track mm-hmm. so it's allowing us to work with so many different people backgrounds oh, cultures dope. stories wow. and we didn't want to be you know placed in a box but the support there i mean when you talk to so many people it's, it's just like it feels like it, it feels like um family after some time yeah. so i think i think it's there you just had to kind of kind of reach for it and, and finding a team is difficult yeah. that's yeah. always oh, been yeah. a, a challenge um you find yourself a, a lady a lady s dot <laughs> I know that's right. Right, 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 right. Or Derek <laughs> Dean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's just not easy to come by. I think uh, you got to also weed out people. Mm-hmm. Right. You got to f- figure out who's serious. And, and I think um, yeah. after some time you, we get it together, we, f- we, we, we figure out a recipe that works. Yeah, no doubt. We know that so well. <laughs> you know, working with the team. <laughs> so I heard you ladies. Could y'all talk a little bit about your little projects coming up? I shouldn't say little, you know. Um, <laughs> spoken word and, the, you know, the, the video content based around that and stuff like that. So because you mentioned it, I'm going to have to ask you guys to, you know, at least perform a little something. something. Y'all got something ready for we talk we weekly? Can y'all? A little, we got a Look, they sat up straight and they, oh, 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 oh. Hercules, <laughs> Hercules. Okay. Let's, 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 let's hear a little something, something for We Talk Weekly. I'm going to move back from the mic because I'm a little loud. Okay. This piece is called The Epidemic. Shout out to Tyree. We performed this piece during um his show a few years ago. Our daughters be popping pills. Our sons be popping pistols. 
Killing one another over Mary Jane, Molly, and crystal methods that never get us anywhere. Everybody yelling out life for me ain't, ain't been no crystal stare, but I'm still trying to figure out how it is that we got here. Like, how did we get here? See, in the 1980s, the Contras were hard-pressed for monetary needs. Uh -huh. But at the same time, the CIA was on a high road to greed. There began the drug traffic on the freeway, freeway Ricky, Ricky Ross. Ross was just a pawn in a chess game, but uh -huh. they weren't protecting kings. And we, we didn't protect the throne. See, why does it take us so many years to build an empire just for it to burn down like Rome? I often gotta wonder what happened to our loyalty. We took the glitter and gold in exchange for our royalty. You know what, you right. You see, this, this was an epidemic, epidemic that killed, killed off kings, kings and queens. queens. Turning our black business owners, mothers and fathers to crack fiends. I mean, just picture the scene. Emotionless stream of broken dreams and broken spouses. Our family dinner traditions now replaced with daily meetings in crack houses. houses. You see, they planted the seeds in our neighborhoods to, to stop, stop the growth of Negroes, while the crack dealers on the street became the KKK, KKK heroes. heroes. But what they forgot is that when you plant a seed, it grows. It spread it throughout the nation like wildfire. Taking over neighborhoods by the column, by, by the, the row. Look at us now, got us all standing on death row. They, they said, these Negroes are on the loose now. But hold on to the catching pole. Cause, Cause we, we got, got them by the noose, noose now. now. They placed crack in our hoods and told us, you, you got, got the juice now. now. And that crack surely made us thirsty. See, they were washing their hands in a matter while our hands were getting dirty. Yeah, but we didn't have to take the drugs. We could have simply walked away. But now, we share part of the blame because we and held this pottery substance just to clear our minds until, until it cleared our minds of the history of our ancestors being chained to slavery. Now another black man's blood lies on the hands of a black, black trigger, trigger man. man. Got me questioning and wonder why he had to pull the trigger man. This was the epidemic that killed off kings. We survived so many eras of genocide. From La Amistad to the cotton field. From the days when bodies hung from trees like Christmas, Christmas ornaments. ornaments. As crosses burned in our front yards as to remind us of the hooded arsonists. We survived beatings and tear gas at the marches in Selma, Alabama. We showed proof of strength long before they made cameras, so this crack era shouldn't be any different. I wish, wish we, I wish we could just dig, dig up our graves and reunite with our souls. I wish we could open our hearts to remove the coal. I wish we could march one, one million, million miles, miles back to our kingdoms, back, back to our thrones, thrones. Even if it means walking with blood on our souls. I wish... What am I saying? I mean, the words that I'm saying, do they mean, mean anything? anything? Will we ever reach back for our dreams? Or are we the next generation to kill off kings and queens? Somebody tell me, how, how did we get here? Thank you. Wow. Yes. That was the short version. Wow. That was the short version. <laughs> I want to hear the one. man. I'm, <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying head. to tell you. There, there you go. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You might as well have them come in. They can come in real quick. Oh, Lord. Yeah. And so, um, we got, excuse me, excuse me, come in here. Man, they interrupting our show and stuff like that. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. That's the twins in the building. Here comes so, the troublemakers. You know, why don't y'all stand, come stand behind me. Come stand behind me. So, so, yeah. And so, so this is the thing, right? When this is, <laughs> this is this is something that I always wanted to know because I put them on the spot the other day, right? And so I usually ask this question: Tell me one thing that no one else knows about you that you know you could tell us and give us exclusive. But since y'all twins, y'all got to tell me the one thing that just your twin don't know about you that you can. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, look, yeah, they looking at each other. Y'all got to dig real deep. Like we know everything. Yeah, I don't. I know, right? <laughs> it might be a real tough. It might be. A, it's, it's something out there. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you got? They had the same question. <laughs> yeah, they yes, they, they, yes they did. Oh. I think they got it. They got. They had an answer. Did y'all fight after the show? Oh, yeah. No <laughs> doubt. <laughs> no doubt. Um, hmm. The one thing, something. Dig, dig deep in them bags, y'all bought in the day. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm at to find another bag. Um, one thing that she know that I know that she don't that she don't know. Oh, I'm everyone's favorite. Oh, uh, see, uh oh, no, she put her head down like yeah, okay, <laughs> that's what you thought. I have a comeback, but <laughs> I don't know if I got one right now. Okay. <laughs> no, I really can't think of anything. Yeah. I think we're we're sort of like. I guess you would call us best friends. I don't really, I just see a sister who I just, we look alike, I get that. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't, I don't know, I think we share everything with each other. I think I told her everything. Yeah, you sure? <laughs> I don't know if it's And you start keeping secrets, more secrets. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't think I have anything. Come on, twin. <laughs> Think of something. I, I have anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's something that nobody life? knows <laughs> yeah. about you, you two? Oh, um, I don't know. 
Well, I wouldn't say nobody. Well, most people don't know we can rap. We've been actually writing rap yeah. since um since middle school. So I guess now people will know. Now um, they know. That's <laughs> fine. Well, what's your first rap? <laughs> nobody ever forget the first rap. You said uh, middle school. I want to hear. No, I don't. Uh, mm. Do I know it by heart? No, I don't know it by heart. <laughs> but I'm always right when I'm when I'm angry or upset about no something. Doubt. I actually do remember it was I think nine eleven actually, and I think mm. that's how I got into that to wow. that rapping. I actually have a, a terrible memory in comparison to her. Mm. I have to write mine down when she her poems and and mm. raps and <laughs> things in her head. I'm the first to lose something. Uh, um, no. Stacy can probably attest. <laughs> 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 um, no, I, we definitely started writing, I think, in middle school. Uh, but that was something that people used to actually joke us and like, oh, you probably don't listen to rap. <laughs> so, so it was just always funny to me that I, I go can... home and throw in that twist the tape. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> now, 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 so I'm sure I'm sure some of the gentlemen out there inquiring. Right. So have you ever has have you guys ever dealt with a guy who confused y'all and y'all kept it going? The only thing I can think of is this this guy got out of the car to get, I guess, one of our numbers. He didn't see the <laughs> other twin. So when he got out, he had his phone. And he was walking over, and he just froze, and he was just like, oh, my gosh. Now who number do I get? It was so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> he was like, oh, bye, sir. Awkward. Bye. <laughs> bye. That's definitely bye. Awkward. awkward. No yeah. doubt, no doubt. So what can we expect from you guys next, man? Because, you know, time ticking out. So, you know, why don't right, you let right. us know, like, your, you know, kind of like some final words, what's coming up next, you know, things like that. Right. So, yes, you were doing it again. Um, So, we do have um, Sound Mind, which is our cinematic spoken word mixtape that's coming out. There's 12 tracks, two bonuses. Um, Each track has a short film that goes prior to the or before the um, spoken word piece. And we also, we're working on a, um, you want to go? We are working on a spoken word stage play as well. Um, And it's called Broken Tables, hopefully February um, of next year. And we are also launching our company, uh, Ilalu Entertainment. We're relaunching it full time. So we mm. definitely have a lot of projects in 2019 and we'd love for Philadelphia to support. Mm. And we'll be reaching back to you guys as well. No doubt, no doubt. Well, you you definitely a friend to the show and you're more more than welcome. You got about five minutes. Y'all, y'all want to say something real quick. I, 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 he said, I do. Real quick. I just want to say that this, um, the spoken word project that these ladies are doing is tremendous. Oh. I don't think there's been a project done like it. I think it's going to blow up the industry, and I can't wait to see the parts of it that I haven't seen. I'm excited. I can't wait to see it, and everybody's going to love it. There They're you go. Love it. Oh, appreciate uh, it. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. Everybody get on social media and say, Eli and Lou, we want to know when the next Eli and Lou and Troy and Trevor project <laughs> is coming. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You see, got one down, say we need another one, right? You know, so That's the troublemaker that. right there. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. <laughs> well, go ahead. Give, give everybody your social media handle. So how can they get in contact with you and all that old good old stuff? Yes. <laughs> so Eli Lu Productions, uh, we're switching our company name to Eli Lu Entertainment. But if you type in Eli Lu Productions um, dot com, you would be directed to our new website. Also, Eli Lu Twins on social media, um, Eli Lu Entertainment on Facebook, and I think that's and, uh, Eli Lu Pro, I believe, on Twitter. And um, lastly, I also just wanted to say thank you for our team: um, Derek Dean, Lauren Butler, Hurricane, and. Um, Stacy and the whole team just for helping us with the project we're working no on now. No so. doubt, no doubt. Well, you're more than welcome to come back. Y'all friends to the show now, man. Once you're here, man, you're always here. You're always right. invited. It's your boy, Charlie Gray, with the beautiful... Lauren Sissel. And the beautiful... Classy Lady Spark. And unfortunately, we got to go, ladies and gentlemen. We talk weekly after the talk is on iHeartRadio, iTunes, and Spotify. Make sure you follow us on iHeartRadio, iTunes, and Spotify. And binge listen to our shows and like and follow us when we talk weekly Facebook page. Download the little tune-in at uh, look for WPPMLP 106.5 FM. Tune in every Tuesday at 7 p.m. for... We talk weekly after the talk and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at we talk weekly at Charles Greg, at Lauren on Discord, so at Sparkle Price is one. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube. <clears throat> blah, 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 we talk weekly YouTube channel. And if you're Philly, catch us every Monday night, 9 30 on Concat 66, Verizon 5 is 29 30. And download our little tune in, I think TV, at Monroe And look for who? We, we talk, talk weekly. Ladies and gentlemen, we love y'all. Make sure y'all keep tuning in. Thanks, our heart radio, all our followers and friends, man. We've been getting a lot of buzz lately. People been hollering for us, checking for us, man. The love is definitely here. Why don't y'all come over here real quick? Because we got about like three more minutes, man. I want to shout out the birthday girl, the birthday. Where's she at? Is, did she get here yet? Well, she's on um a good friend of mine's radio show after 
at the week. Come on. So I want to give her a live shout out on the air. You know, I make sure they can see the twins next to each other on the camera. You know what I'm saying? To say that, that, that there it is. Beautiful people in the house, man. This is a beautiful time. This is your boy Charles Gregory, and we got to go. We out here like last year. We talk weekly, y'all, and we out. Hello. Hey.